So Glenn, we know that networking is very important these days. Your network is your net worth. And someone who knew someone and they make an introduction and that's how you end up having a job or an introduction. So in that sense, nowadays networking is becoming more online or via Zoom. What tips do you have for people who are introvert or they don't know how to use networking? Uh, what are the key tips that you can give them that will benefit to, to job seekers? That's that's a that's a very good question, man. And and you said now networking basically there was a saying that is six degree separation. Now I would say it's actually two degrees separation. Mm -hmm. So if you're thinking about that logic, um, in the past you said at least the next six person you meet will actually help you get to where you want to get to. Today is the second person you meet will get to, to where you want to get to. Either find a job. Um, or something which yeah. mainly um, looking for a job. So what I would what I would encourage people who are introvert again recognize that networking success is not an overnight sensation. Yes. You're not going to have 50 million followers tomorrow. So you want to take your time and start where you feel most comfortable. If you're in school. I would say build a network among your peers, your, your classmates, your professors. Yep. Start with that group of people first. Cause you know them, right? You know them. You can go on LinkedIn, you can go on Facebook, you can go, and you can start networking with those people right now. Um, so that's a good way to start. Your friends that you know, you can start right there. And then as you get more comfortable with the process, you can start reaching out to people that uh, might be. Uh, a friend of your friend or a connection of your uh, of your friend you can start doing that and over time you find that your network start to grow and you connect with more people over time yeah and i always say to students or internationals or new immigrants you know there's a lot of networking groups on linkedin so in the previous video we talked about the importance of linkedin and content creation so once your linkedin profile is done you can start networking on linkedin or attend this event or if you're attending a zoom event or an event online you can also check who are the speakers send them a linkedin message of course customize them saying that Hey, Glenn, I'm looking forward for the event tomorrow and then do a follow up. And then because that the follow up is also important. And at the beginning, don't ask for a job. Just listen, because networking also is a two way communication and it takes time, as you've mentioned, to build. And then after a while, you can ask for a help or a job. Right. That, that, those are very valid points. You, you, I, I have done it myself where I, I invite. I'm invited to some event, um, online event, or I go to a LinkedIn event, and based and what I would do is I would look and see who are the participants or who are the guests yeah. uh, there, and I would connect with them. I would reach out to them and said, you know, I am also participating or I'm also a guest in this event, and I would just like to connect with you. I think we share some interest right here, and I'm not asking for anything. I'm just connecting. I'm yeah. building that network because at some point you will have the opportunity to, to ask for something. Yeah. Those are great tips, Glenn, and I hope the audience watching or listening will implement those networking tips in their next event they're attending. So uh, if you have any other tips for networking, please leave them below and tune in next time for another great question with Glenn.